The massive uprising in Ukraine called Maidan, the Ukrainian word for square, continues to rock the Eastern European nation. Despite the West showing its support, Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych made a deal with Russia, attracted by lower gas prices and loans. Many Ukrainians will spend this holiday season in the square protesting against him. According to recent polls, those in the square say that they are ready to stay there for as long as it takes to take their nation back. In hindsight, the issue of European integration was only a spark, a point when many Ukrainian citizens lost patience with the government's abuse of power. First protest broke out on November 21st. The government's reaction, using riot police to oust protesters, evoked such outrage that the demonstrations ballooned into a movement involving thousands and then hundreds of thousands of Ukrainian citizens calling for Yanukovych's removal. In Maidan, people have formed a protest village. Some of them live here, others join on weekends or after work on weekdays. People in the village hail from all over Ukraine. World heavyweight boxing champion Vitaly Klitschko is one of the opposition leaders. With the common goal of changing the government, opposition parties work together. Late night on December 10th, when the capital was sleeping, Ukrainian authorities ordered security forces to surround protesters and clear the area around the square. For eight hours, protesters and security forces clashed, pushing against each other. The following day, protesters rebuilt their forts, this time much stronger. People are not afraid of riot police and feel that since the country's constitution is built on democratic principles, that include the right to protest peacefully. Maidan marches on. Yeah,